Speaking of Joe and your old team, I think Miles Garrett would have worn this regardless of whether it was Halloween or not. Yeah, I think that's just a Sunday outfit. Yeah, the old cape, all those quarterbacks that have been sacked, including Big Ben on the lower left, and there's Miles Garrett on the upper right or middle of your screen. And there's his league leading tenth and a half sack. Now this is big. Steelers are going to kick the field goal at the end of the half, but Chris Boswell goes dressed as a quarterback for Halloween. Uh -oh. Fake. And just throw it away, dude. Don't take the hit. He does from Jordan Elliott. Watch what happens. No roughing the passer slash kicker call. He leaves, and he ends up in concussion protocol. So the Steelers lose their kicker for the rest of the game. We'll show you why that was big in just a minute. Third quarter, we're tied at three. Welcome back, Nick Chubb, after missing two games with a bad calf. Browns came in with the best rushing offense in the league. They were held to just 96 on the ground. Chubb breaks one off here for about 20. And then to cap the drive, remember Kareem Hunt's still injured, so the Thursday night star, Dearness Johnson. You like him? You I love Dearness Johnson. Good cut there. His second score of the year. Cleveland's up a touchdown, but here comes Pittsburgh. John G. Harris starting to make a difference in the ground game and flying through the air with the greatest of ease. I mean, he's really starting to come on for this Pittsburgh Steelers team, both in the pass game and the running game. They would miss the two-point conversion. Once again, no kicker, so the Steelers are down 10-9. In the fourth, same score. Big Ben on first and 20 after a penalty. Zach Gentry wide open. That is a huge play for the Steelers. And then later in the drive, fourth and goal at the two. Instead of kicking, because Presley Harris the third, the punter, has never kicked in his life. Not even in, like, peewee ball. Yeah. That's right, Presley. And, yeah. I would have rather they kicked it. Yeah, Pat Fryermuth in the end zone for the score. Steelers fail on the two-point conversion. It's 15 to 10. Look at this remarkable play by the second rounder, the rookie out of Penn State. Oh, drag swag. So the Cleveland has a shot on third and four. Baker coming back from that broken shoulder. He's got all sorts of issues, but he will take a hit. And possible late hit from Joe Hayden, not called. Baker, how fired up are you? How fire how fired up are you? I am one to ten. We are going this way. Oh, we're going to that. on the fired up scale to one to ten. Well, he gets it to Jarvis Landry. He's been battling injuries, gets the first down, but Joe Schobert, the former Brown, strips it. TJ Watt recovers. And the Steelers are in business. Uh, you can't hear me, TJ. I, I said the Steelers are in business. <laughs> All right, well, the Browns would get the ball back. Fourth and 12. They got to go for it. Down five. It hits Jarvis's hands, but falls in lead. The Steelers have won three in a row. The Browns fall to four and four. They're in last place in the division. Miles Garrett still wearing his cape. What about your meeting with Big Ben? I mean, Big Ben's been great uh, for a long time, and I mean, he's been great here for a long time. It's tough, but you know, we'll see him again, and we'll get the chance to return the favor you know, when he's at his house. So, I mean, hurts that you know, we couldn't protect the house, but you know, his home is and then safe either. Never too early to look at your playoff standings. Titans number one on the board. They're